Hey everyone. Here's the third and probably final, well actually I wouldn't say final because who knows how many cards they have here, but this is a third Duelist Saga unboxing. And uh, surprise, surprise, I ended up getting the pack I was seeking because I was thinking, well, if I get it, I'm only going to end up getting another Dark Magician or another Cyber Dragon. Nope, I ended up getting the pack I needed. So now I ended up getting all three packs with all nine cards. Well, all, I ended up getting the three packs that gave me all nine official uh, I ended up getting the three boxes, Duelist Saga, du Duelist Saga, Saga boxes, with all nine packs now. So, I got all different nine packs of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Saga. So, let's see what cards uh, we get out of this one. And of course we have the Yu-Gi-Oh pack and oh we got a phoenix is that a th oh that's not really a red dragon or a cipher it's uh it looks like it looks like a rose or a phoenix some kind of but anyway and of course we got um, <coughs> elemental heroes neos right on there but see what this one is. Sometimes, like I said with the last one, you end up getting the same card sometimes, and I guess it's alright. So, let's see what we got here. Open that up. We have Formula Synchron. Huh. Formula Synchron. How about that? Formula Synchron. It's a white card. It's a machine. Oh, it's a machine card. Synchro Tuna card. Hmm, that's what they look like, I guess. <laughs> we have Cyber Dragon. There's a Cyber Dragon in my collection. There we go. We have Dark Summoning Beast. I think I got that one before. Or in the last pack, anyway. Dark Summoning Beast. We've got... Di Dio Bound Colonel! Got Dio Bound Colonel! The... The, the, the card that Bakura, or Dark Bakura, used in his duel with, uh, with Kaiba uh, during the final season of Yu-Gi-Oh! How about that? Dio Bound Colonel. And then last one we have is Celestria, a Celestial Double Star R. Charmin. There you go. But yeah, the, the big one here is uh, Dio Bound Colonel. How about that? Pretty cool. Because I know that that basically uh, is a card that they use, that was like the main card that uh, Bakura uh, would use in the final season. That's basically, basically what this card is based on, if you want to know the Dio Bound Colonel, when you look at it, it's actually based, in a sense, it's like the it's like the um, champion form of what essentially is Zork. That that's when you when you look at it. So that's yeah, pretty good. Good deal, Bound Colonel. Now we'll see what the Elemental Heroes Neos has. And yes, I do have Elemental Heroes Neos in my collection somewhere. See what the Neos pack has.
we have oh oh that's what that card is that's what the monster on that on the on the cover of that uh, card is the cover of that pack is oh pretty cool we have a uh, magician of faith have this card but it's good to have another one like I say magician of faith And the monster that's on the pack here, on the other pack that ha that I didn't op haven't you opened yet, it's actually the Black Rose Dragon. That's right, the Black Rose Dragon. That is um, that. Uh, what's her name is? That's a uh, what's her name's dragon. That's um, Akiza's. It's a Kiza's uh, dragon. It's pretty cool. We have Clear Effector as the next one. Clear Effector. So that's pretty good. Getting a, a Kiza's dragon, a main monster card. Uh, Black Rose Dragon. That's pretty cool. But here we have Clear Effector. We have Chain Summoning, a magic card. Chain Summoning. Cool. And we have another Harpy's Feather Storm. So that's two Harpy Feather Storms in my that I have now. So that's pretty cool. Me the. Thank And now we're going to open the Black Rose Dragon um, pack. See what that is. I'm thinking it's a Kiza's Dragon because it's the Black Rose. I think that kind of was with that, with that, with that, what her arc was. So. So we'll see what this is. We have Blackwing, Guile the Whirlwind, Blackwing, Guile the World, the Whirlwind. Pretty cool. We have Battle Fader. I think I have that one. We have Guard Penguin. We have Halfway to Forever. And we have Number 28 Titanic Moth. Number 28, Titanic Moth. So that's an insect XYZ effect. So, but yeah, eh, not much on those, but, uh, but yeah, the ones that really stand out to me, and I've heard about them, is, well, not much on Black Rose Dragon, but I know where it came from, but D Dia Bound Colonel, that's a good one, right? That, to me, that was a surprise. To, to get that so so yeah that pretty much does it for the third Yu-Gi-Oh one I may get more in the future I don't know because the more you get obviously but what they advertise is this right here so this is what I was looking at these cards here so you know these cards right here this is what they were this is what they were advertising right here mainly is the packs you want to get but it's called Duelist Saga so I don't know if there's any di other different cards out there or what, but it's nice to get these, and like I said, the ones that really su surprised me uh, was Dio Bound Colonel and Black Rose Dragon, so it's pretty cool. Let's see what it says here. Okay, it says basically, as far as these packs go, it says... Collect memorable cards from the entire history of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise with Duelist Saga. 
This special set features new cards with all from all five incarnations of Yu-Gi-Oh's Yu-Gi-Oh mixed from both the Magna and animated series. So that might explain why some of the cards I don't recognize at first, as well as cards inspired by some of the coolest monsters and concepts from each series. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. So, um, basically 15 cards a pack, so I got about 45 cards now out of this. And like, like I said, the ones that stand out to me are Deal Bound Colonel and Black Rose Dragon. So, that's really all I'm going to say now for this third Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Saga unboxing. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you all later.